Hi Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. These are end of the month love readings. All right. Aquarius, universe, what does Aquarius need to know at this time? Seven of Swords fell out. Ten of Swords is in the back. But um, Seven of Swords does not have to be, you know, right away cheating lies. It can be, can be someone is not telling the full truth. Sometimes when it gets around Christmas time, for those that celebrate it, I do get that coming up sometimes when there is someone being sneaky because the energy around them is sneaky. Like they're hiding gifts. They're buying their partner something very special. Um, and it's around them it's, and they're being sneaky so it shows up. So um, let's put a card next to it and see what's going on here. I'm trying to be positive. I'm hoping you guys don't have a negative reading, but let's see what comes out. Well, Knight of Wands. We all know the Knight of Wands could be a player, but it could be a younger fire sign. It could be something's coming in. Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, and Justice. Okay. Some of you, I'm going to read this a couple different ways. Some of you may have secretly liked um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also, someone with a very free spirit, someone who's very carefree. Could have been a third-party situation. I hate to throw that already, but it's because of the Knight of Wands and Seven of Swords. So, it, but you are part of this, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be third-party. It's just, it could be just that kind of carefree energy. You guys weren't supposed to be together. You know, maybe you work together or something. I don't know. This person's coming in quickly. And, and um, in fact, they might be a Libra, but they're coming back in and you're excited, Justice. All right. For others of you, this is someone who was an asshole. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, come on. This is probably a player, guy or girl, doesn't matter. Someone, someone's coming back in maybe very quickly. So when I see energy like this, though, be prepared to maybe bump into this person in person when you're out. And if you want to say something, get something off your chest, Aquarius, this is your chance, justice, okay? So uh, you're going to be caught off guard with Nine of Swords. And you're going to just turn around and there they are. And for some of you, this, you know, might make you happy. But others of you, this is about, you know, you get to see them and say something. So just a heads up. Sometimes when we get caught off guard, you know, we kind of, we forget what to say. We lose our train of thought. We get tongue-tied. Okay, something else. Okay, four of coin and nine of coin. Being single, enjoying, holding on. Okay, one more card, please. Oh gosh, your card, you guys' cards are just like. Okay, Aquarius, some of you are deciding about, does look like a fire sign here also. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone with a lot of fire in their chart, someone who's just very fun and flirtatious. Um, four of coin can be hanging on to something, and nine of coin can be singlehood. So someone may be giving up like bachelor, bachelor life, bachelorette life, possibly with that combination. Somebody, four of coin is very private. They like to keep their stuff to themselves, and that's a, not a seven of swords private. That's like, you know... There's no, that's fine. Very private person. Nine of coin, they may live alone. I feel like there's someone that you like who's not inviting you over to their house. They're not opening up to you. They're not sharing with you. They're not doing it because they have anything really to hide for most of you. They're just that way. They're a private person. They, they like to spend time alone. But you may not like this. You have to decide what to do. Now, on the other hand, though, so some of, you, some of you may just end up wanting to be alone. Maybe some of you enjoy being alone. You like, you want to end something with this person here. Because you're trying to decide. And this person to me, they may be very flirtatious and fun when they're out but with other people. And maybe they don't treat you the same ways also. Because this person's not looking at you. Plus they're, they're, they have this fiery energy. And it's almost as if this person acts two different ways. They're, they're one way, I think, with you. And then a different way when they're not. Or they, they're just too two different people, even when they're with you, you know, um, there's something about this person. I feel like you can't put your finger on 
they're different, they're private. Um, Cause it's almost like you're thinking, should I end this with this person? Should I keep moving forward? There's another message here though. I have to sit here and look at it for a minute. And I hate doing this, but, um, no, some of you, some of you want to end this because this person, maybe they're, they are just too flirtatious. They're always out talking to everyone else. They're maybe you you don't trust them. Maybe is what I'm getting off of them. I mean, it's enough to make you want to get rid of them. To, to stop dating them, whatever's going on because of whatever they're doing. Because on this, on this side, it's like, maybe you're the one who wants to hold back. You want a little more privacy. You enjoy uh, your own life. Maybe they're, maybe they're too needy. That could also be it because it's like, you're like, you know what? You're always wanting to be with me next to me at my home, this and that. You need a little bit of um, breathing room possibly from this person. There's something along there, that line. You're trying to decide what to do with this um, King of Wands. Could be a queen of wands. And so then maybe this person is just too clingy. Now I put the cards away and I'm not looking at them. Maybe they're just too clingy. They're always with you and it's just not working. Maybe you feel like you're being rude or mean. So maybe that was just confirmation for you that no, you're not. You're, what, what you're feeling is showing up in the reading. So it's not you. It's probably them. All right. One more message for Aquarius. Okay. Nine of Cups, having a good time out. Might be with a Capricorn. Six of Swords, not moving away. Magician, as you can see that, yes. And Ace of Wands. All right. This could simply be getting back together with someone, staying with someone, um, maybe just a physical relationship with them. Ace of Wands, sometimes upright, is about redoing a relationship, right? Could be moving, could be... Someone's coming back into your life. You want to move forward maybe, and you want to restart the relationship Ace of Wands. In reverse, you don't want to, but you just want to spend some time with them, be with them. Nine of Cups can be uh, going out several times or just going out once and having a lot of fun with them, drinking, eating. Okay, Empress Energy. They may treat you very well, okay? The world again, justice again. And the lovers, again, this seems to be kind of a relationship based on lust or just sex, to be honest. So what I'm seeing here, let's go back around one more time. But this person may treat you well or you may really enjoy when you're with them as the Empress card and the lovers. Okay, Ace of coin. Five of coin out in the cold. Ten of cups. Okay, but you might have to let this person go. And you may know that. Okay. Nine of coin again, showing up. Okay. Yeah, under the deck is the eight of cups. So it's like, you know, if you're going to be with this person, you're going to end up out in the cold. And it might be financially. It could be that maybe your friends or family don't like them. But it feels like because the ace of coin, if you're staying with this person or hanging out with them, whatever it is, that might cause problems in your life. Um, because it's almost like you're not moving forward with an Ace of Wands, but there's definitely a connection here, but you're deciding to stay single. You do seem to enjoy going out with them, but maybe you are at a higher level than them, such as your upper management, your executive level, and they are not, so you cannot, for whatever reason, uh, date or be seen together or something along that line. You're going to be okay, though. You may be moving for a new job also with Ace of Coin. Um, but you have the Ten of Cups. You're going to end it. You're not going to move forward with this person. And you're going to be just fine. Ten of Cups, you are going to be happy. And there is something about... I feel like, you know, normally it's like you would listen to your your th mind, right? The Queen of Swords, which you are. You would be thinking, like, you have to think this through. You're using logic because whatever for whatever reason you can't be with this person is going to cause too many problems in your life. I feel like that's why you come up as the Queen of Cups because you are feeling emotional, but there's some type of connection with this person. You got to spend time with them, I feel, and now you guys are uh, moving apart and it's okay. You might miss them with the Queen of Cups, but for somehow you guys did come together and spend some time. You might, I don't really see this, but you might go away with them for a weekend or a week or see them during the holidays, possibly for a few of you. But there's something about you got your justice. You got to be with them. I don't think there's another person involved, to be honest. I feel like this is all your energy, Aquarius. Um, 
You may miss them though. Come as a Queen of Cups, but you do. It does look like some of you you have. You're getting promoted. You're moving. What is a Queen of Cups? One more card, please. Okay. Oh, we have a King of Cups. All right. So this would tell me that this is two people. Technically, this would represent someone. They're both in love. You want someone who's who loves you and you love them. You want that soulmate connection. You want that two of cups. The person here that you're up here dating for some of you, or that might be coming in here at the end of the month, this is a pure um, physical relationship. It's not going to move forward. All right. You're going to date for a while. You're going to have fun, but they may leave. I don't see them leaving you, but but I feel like you're going to leave them end it, but they might leave, but you know that it's the devil energy. It's not moving forward. It's not a relationship long term. You're going to be single, but you're going to be, you want that financial stability, ace of coin with a new relationship because that's what you want. Justice. You're manifesting somebody who will love you back. The two of you love each other. That is the queen and king of cups, you and someone else. All right. So heads up about that. This person, you may know who this is. You, they may already be in your life or they may be coming in, but they're going to be pretty obvious, I feel, with the Nine of Cups. Um, could be at your new job. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a really good week, you guys, and take care.